Recently, I received word that there was a piece of Bravely merch that contains an exclusive portion of lore. So, naturally, I had to get my hands on it. That was one week ago. It already arrived. From Japan. So let's take a look at it. Also, apologies in advance for the quality. You all know I'm not an in-person content creator if you've seen literally any of my videos. So this is the best I could do. Thank you. Okay, so I wasn't planning on doing another unboxing video uh, this soon, but then um, this arrived in six days. So there's that. This is the Bravely Second Japanese Collector's Edition. Uh, for the reason of a particular item inside that I want to make uh, a video on, I didn't expect it to be this big. Uh, for comparison's sake, and we'll take a quick look inside, I guess, um, I also have with me the Bravely Second uh, American or international version of the uh, Collector's Edition. I'm assuming this is just the American one because I think even in uh, Europe people got a figurine. But as you will see with this, uh, we did not. The first like big time I actually splurged on and pre-ordered a, a game of some kind. So uh, it's very dear to me. So inside we have the collector's edition version of the Bravely Second art book. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. I spent a good amount of time just skimming through this and all kinds of good times. Um, and then also included were the game and a demo CD with like six songs on it. So that's the American uh, Bravely Second Collector's Edition. Japanese got a lot more. <laughs> Um, I don't think it has an art book, but it has a specific different book. It doesn't have this one. It is muggy as hell today. I can't have my fan on because it's going to fuck up the audio. So I need to do this quickly before I literally roast to death. The sides are already opened a bit, but that's okay. Not too worried about that. So let's get this a little open. This is as far as I opened it to, taking this cover off. That is nice. I really like that. Just a nice, clean, shiny lid. Let's take a look inside, shall we? It won't come off. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, so here we have... I will translate this, maybe, and uh, figure out what its purpose is. Probably shouldn't have shown the back there. I'll, say that. I'll try to edit, or uh, I'll try to translate this and figure out what it exactly is. I'm assuming it's download code for costumes and stuff uh, in the Japanese version. Useless now because the store is closed, so... Eh. Uh, so let's move right along. So we do have... Well, let's just go across the top here. So right here we have a very nice little magnolia... Was it a necklace or was that a pin? Let's crack it open. I think it's just like a phone charm. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, like a little phone charm thingy. It's only got a tiny little, oops, tiny little string with that. Focus in on it, bitch. Yeah, there we go. It's a cute little magnolia. All right, so I'm going to back in our spot, sort of. Okay, and then we have a copy of Bravely Second. It's got a very neat uh, holographic effect on the yeah, on the cover there. Japanese version. I don't actually know if the game is included. This. Oh, there it is! A Japanese edition of uh, Bravely Second, so I can actually uh, play it if I want to. Maybe. I don't know. I might get region locked out because I have an international or American DS. I don't know how they worked with that for 3DSs and stuff. So maybe this would work, maybe not. We will uh, We will have to see. But I am the Japanese version of Breathe a Second now. This is a literal black sheep. <laughs> uh, continuing on. Okay. We have the Bravely Second special mini soundtrack. All music composed by Ryo. Uh, I can't read those, but it, I can definitely tell that is more tracks than was on the English one. I am so good at unscripted content. Oh, was a... Okay. So it's just a black CD. It's, it says DVD-ROM on it. So I'm, is this meant for 
I don't know. Can you run this in a DVD or CD player? Man, I the heat is just getting to my head like so quickly. Um, it says DVD ROM, so I'm wondering if I can run it in a CD player or not. I'd have to probably run it in a DVD. But there's also a little message from Rio, and I will try to translate that if I remember. R remember, editing red. Try to translate this and go over it. Should probably do the one that Rio or uh, Revo said during a uh, 10th anniversary broadcast. That letter that you screenshotted and didn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, this is all in very nice condition. I also wanted to comment on the little design of the interior, too. It's really, really nice. Okay, so next up we have... Oh, goodness, these are tight. Use Journal. So this is his journal from the game. Oh, it's very... Oh, it's got the, the crest of uh, Jenny Olja family on the back. This is really nice. Oh, I ripped it. That's fine. That's fine. It's a book. It, it can survive without its plastic shell. But it is nice that it came in one, so whoever I bought this from, thank you for maintaining such good quality of, uh, of the product. Very, very nice. Open it up. Oh, that's cute. So, in case of loss, please return to as a reward pig. Yeah, so there's a map of Luxendark. Okay, it's bl completely blank, so fully blank pages, probably because in the games, you sketches all of his uh, creatures he encounters and whatnot, so, you know, it wouldn't make sense for him to have uh, a lined journal, per se. I don't think anything at the back. Oh! Cute little drawing of Mag... Oh, and something. A cute little drawing of Magnolia and some chompers. Nice. So a very nice, cute little journal. Uh, maybe I'll do something with it. Don't know. Okay. Next up is the one that I know a lot of people were upset for not getting in the American version. Oh, goodness. Come on, Anya. This is the toughest one to get out yet. Holy, that's deep. There we go. The Bravely Second Anya's special minifigure. I'll take this out of the box and do a nice little spin around. Oh, I gotta get a knife. There is a circle tape preventing me from saving Pope Anya's. She is now free. I'm ready to wreak havoc upon the world. This is super duper nice here. Bring this in front of the camera so I can actually show it. Focus on the woman. There we go. Yeah, this is very, very nice quality. Not the iPhones be like. So yeah, she doesn't have a stand that you attach at the bottom because obviously the uh, the bottom of the robe here matches up with her feet, so she just sits on this. But uh, extremely, extremely nice figurine. Very happy with that. Wish my camera would just stay focused, please. I know Tiz is a handsome boy in his little gimp suit, but please, focus on her. There we go. Now, finally, I didn't realize this is just sitting here. Cool. Everything's a mess. I am so good at unboxing. Straighten this up a bit, because now we're on to the final part. Holy cow, that's way deeper than I expected. Okay, that is a thick, thick boy. But this is the reason that I bought the whole thing. So bravely default 200 years later. Okay, so I had a storage space and had to restart a little bit, so we're gonna have to make this part quick. <clears throat> so this is the main reason I bought all of this. I mean, this this is really nice, and this is nice, and that's nice, and that's why the series almost died. This is the main thing. Um, so first thing, this is a Bible. Uh, wow, this is way thicker than I imagined. So the reason I bought this is for mainly this. I heard from somebody else, I call uh, that there is apparently a novel in here. Oh my god, it is long. Oh, it's most of the... Okay, there's the... Uh, okay, so as you just saw for a second there, there was Lilia. Yeah, this is for praying Braj. If you can do some basic mental math 200 years after Bravely Second is... Fault, is the praying Braj era. So this is supposed to be more Pring Braj lore that you can't get anywhere except this. And I couldn't find this book on its own, so I was like, guess I'll die, or rather my wallet decided it was going to. So uh, this is going to be a future project for lore. Uh, I'm going to be going through all of this if I can and trying to get it done. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of characters from Pring Braj. I recognize that there's the Crystal Guardians and... Yeah, all kinds of stuff. The snake. I think that's the snake messenger there, or the Rovos party, one or the other. Yeah. So, uh, this is the main reason. Um, no date for when this is going to get done. Like, 
I'm already working on getting a video out for these very soon. And uh, I've already finished reading them. I just have to do a video explaining what happens in them. So that's coming out very soon. That's the plan. Um, but as for this, this is going to be a while. Because as you saw, it's mostly that... Uh, it's mostly novel. So I'm going to have to find out what the deal with this is and then do another Prime Barrage video because it looks like we aren't done with that game just yet. So that was the Japanese Collector's Edition of Bravely Second. Obviously, it knocks NAs out of the park in terms of goodies. However, the international version does offer some slight competition with the collector's art book. Once more, I have no idea when I will have the 200 years later story translated. I'm working on a video for the manga first, and I'm also currently researching other Bravely lore at the same time. But if you don't want to miss it when I do get to that book, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know if you're interested in what that little novel has to say down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.